This is the tutorial for Model 3 Support Bracket for the Mass Property Analysis Activity. Let's go ahead and begin a new part. I'm going to start a sketch using the XY plane. And I'm going to begin in Quadrant 1, and I'm going to create the overall stock of this part. So if I use my rectangle, I'm going to start at the origin, and I'm going to make an overall width of the part, 9 inches, and I'm going to make an overall height of the part is four inches. Press tab and four inches. I am then going to extrude this part. So I'll finish sketch, extrude. I'm going to grab my only profile that's there. The distance of this is five inches. I now need to remove material on this support bracket. So I'm going to start a sketch. You can either do it on this front face or this top face. I'm going to do mine on the front face. And I'm going to draw three rectangles. So I'll start with one rectangle at the top left corner, and I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to do one at the top right corner and go down. <clears throat> I'm going to make these rectangles equal to each other. So I want the overall height of the one on the right to equal the one on the left. And I want the overall width of the one on the right to equal the one on the left. So I'm going to dimension these. And the width of the rectangle is going to be two inches. The overall height of the rectangle is going to be three and a half. I am then going to just move this dimension out of the way for my second rectangle, or my third rectangle that goes in the middle here. And I'm going to draw my rectangle and place it down. And it should have an equal height as the other ones. So I'm going to equally constrain that. So I click the height of my third rectangle and the height of one of my other ones. I am going to center this piece. So I'll use my vertical constraint here. And I'm going to find the center of my part and the center of my stock. And this piece is now in the center of this entire rectangle. I'm going to dimension the width of this part. So if I grab the bottom here, this overall width is four inches. And I'll finish sketch. And I'm going to extrude these three profiles. And I'm going to extrude cut them. And the distance will be all. And I'm going to select OK. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a slot on this face and the mirror image face. So I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch. And I will go ahead and project my geometry of this face. Now I can work off of that. I'm going to, underneath rectangle here, I'm going to grab all the way at the bottom where it is slot center to center. I'm going to go ahead and first draw my first dimension here, and it is the overall length of my slot. And this length of the slot is going to be 2 inches. The diameter of the slot is going to be a radius of 0.375. So you'll see here if I touch down and I release off of it, I want to do a diameter of this piece. So I'm going to type in 0.375, and I'm going to use Inventor as a calculator. And I'll use my multiplication symbol, N2, to get the diameter of my part. I now need to locate this. So I'm going to click dimension. I'm going to click my side of my slot to the right side of my part. And this distance needs to be 1.5. I now need to position it up and down. So I'm going to select again the side of my slot to the bottom of my part now, in the orientation that I'm in. And I need this distance to be 1 inch. I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude it. Careful to select just that profile. And I'll go distance all, so that it cuts through my part, and say OK. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my part around 
and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Start sketch, click this top face. I'm just going to select project geometry and grab that rectangle. I'll use my slot tool again. Go ahead and do the overall length of my slot, which is again two inches. It has a radius of 0.375, so I need to calculate the diameter. So I type in 0.375, use my multiplication symbol, and type in 2 to be able to find the diameter. I need to position the side of the slot to the side of my part. This distance is 1.5 inches. I then need to locate the slot to the bottom in this orientation of my part which is one inch. I'll finish sketch, use my extrude tool, careful to select just that profile, change distance to all, and say okay. And lastly, what I'm going to do is create a chamfer. The directions state that the chamfer is a one by one inch chamfer on every slide. So I will use my chamfer tool will change my distance here to one inch and I will select each edge that is represented in the directions. And once I get to the one that is not visible, I can actually find it through my part here to get that back edge and say OK. Lastly, I'm going to create a hole on this portion of the support bracket. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to grab this face. And I'm going to paste a point on there. So I'm going to select point. I will click on this face. And I'm going to dimension it. The distance from the right side of my part to that point is 2 and a half inches. And the distance from the top of my part to that point is 2 inches. I will finish sketch. I will use the hole command. I'm going to change the diameter of that hole to one and a half inches. And I'm going to make sure that it goes through all so that it contacts the next piece. This is the completion of model three support bracket.